John and I have been making our lemonade in a whole new way, and I wanted to share that with you all here. Agave is this um, sweetening agent. You can buy it in the health food stores, and a lot of the grocery stores actually carry it now in the organic food section. And uh, it metabolizes in a different way than sugar. So instead of making simple syrup, which is what I used to do for lemonade, I use agave now. I use less of it, and it's better for your body. So check it out. You can order it online, too. Anyway, here's how we make our lemonade. Thank you, L Train, for the support. Can I ask y'all, I mean, who's from like this neighborhood? Do you get, y'all get used to that, right? All right, so you start with a cup of juice, and we're making a, a citrus uh, aid today instead of lemonade. You can use all lemon juice, because my husband and I like it real tart. Or you can mix lime juice, lemon juice, and orange juice. The orange juice is super sweet, so I use less of that. You want about a quarter cup of fresh orange juice combined with a quarter cup of fresh lime juice and a half a cup of lemon juice. Let the lemon take the lead. To a cup of citrus juice, add about a half a cup of agave. Mix that together. Pour that into filtered water, or you can turn it into kind of a spritzer, pour it down over ice, and add some good old seltzer water to it. Now that we have this nice refreshing pitcher of citrus goodness, better make a couple of burgers. So first of all, you need to char up some beautiful poblano peppers. You can do this under your broiler, right over a gas stove top, or next to the L train on a grill. <laughs> Once you get the peppers blackened evenly all over, pop them into a bowl or into a paper sack and seal up the bowl tightly with a little plastic wrap, or if you're using a paper sack, just roll it up. Let the flesh come away from the skins, peel away the charred skins, and then you pop those poblanos into the food processor and then you're going to add tomatillos that I saute up with some garlic and red onion, salt and pepper. And once the tomatillos start to break down and the onions become a little translucent, you transfer that whole mixture. It'll look like this over here. Look like this guy. Transfer that whole mixture into the food processor with the poblanos. Then you can use another drizzle of your agave or you can use a little drizzle from your honey bear. I just love Mr. Bear's belly. Give it a little squish. Brighten it up with some lime juice. A little bit of cumin. I spiced up the uh, tomatillos with salt, pepper, and a little bit of cumin. Not too much, a little goes a long way. And then you process that until it's just about smooth. Now the burgers, I call them bulked up bulgur burgers. Let me just turn that off. Because you're stretching a buck and you're also making the burgers themselves a lot healthier to eat. You're adding fiber, bulgur, wheat bulgur, and you put half a cup of it into a pot with a cup of boiling water. Let it puff up, it takes a few minutes, let it get nice and tender, and then cool it down. You take the half a cup of cooked bulgur, combine it with some super lean uh, sirloin. This is nice lean ground sirloin here, or you can use ground turkey as well. And then I put in a big handful of flat leaf parsley, about a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce, a little salt and pepper, over the shoulder for luck. In goes the bulgur. So if you're trying to get your family to eat a little more fiber, but they don't really love whole grains or really chewy bread, this is terrific. It just tastes like a regular hamburger when you're done. It's super flavorful. Mush that all together. And with one pound of meat, you're gonna get 12 slider-sized burgers out of that. Now, you can throw these on the grill, but you have to be real delicate with them. I actually prefer them cooked on the stovetop. I actually think these get a lot better color on them if you cook them in a skillet in a little bit of olive oil. So once they brown up on the first side, give them a flip, and then I put a little bit of super sharp white cheddar cheese on top. A little bit goes a long way. And then we're gonna top off our better for you bulgur burgers with our homemade green tomatillo ketchup with the poblanos and the garlic and the cumin. <laughs>